Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to a brand new tutorial series in Selenium in Python. In this tutorial series, we will go through on how you can set up Selenium in Python, how you can fetch elements, how you can automate certain tasks, how you can bypass detection, how you can bypass captcha and all that kind of stuff. So if you are interested, hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future episodes. Also, I have done a similar series in public theory node.js. So if you are interested, after the video ends, you can click up here. So with that said, let's get into this video. So first of all, we want to install Python if you haven't already. So first of all, click the link down in the description to be redirected to this selenium documentation page and we want to scroll down and see which versions are supported and as you can see selenium supports python 3.7 and newer versions of that so all we have to do now is go to python.org click downloads and install a version that is 3.7 or more we can also install the Python 3.10 version, which is currently the latest version. Always make sure the Python version you try to download is supported on Selenium. So 3.10 is supported, so I'll go ahead and download it. And then once you install Python, make sure you install an IDE as well. If you haven't already, I'm using Visual Studio Code. So now go ahead and create a folder. I already created mine, Selenium tutorial, and now Click up here if you are on Windows and type CMD and that basically opens a terminal in your folder. Now if you are using any other operating systems like Mac, just do the same thing, just open a terminal in this file location. Now what we will do is pip install selenium. Now you can also see that command from the documentation page. If you scroll down and go to installing, you also will see this command right here. And that's what we basically are running. Now it has a dash U and that means to either upgrade Python or basically install it. But you don't have to, up sorry, not upgrade Python, upgrade Selenium to the latest version, which we don't have to do if we are installing it for the first time. So I'll click enter and then it starts installing Selenium. Now I already had most of the packages already installed because I used Selenium in the past but you will see something similar. Now once the installation is completed, you will see an empty command line right here. Now I'll do CLS to clear the terminal and I'll type code dot, which basically opens Visual Studio code on that location. Then we will create a new file and let's call it main.py, which is a Python file. And here is where we will write our Selenium code. Now let's go back on the documentation, scroll down, and here you can see an example. Copy the code from the documentation page and then click up here if you are using Visual Studio Code or go back to the, to the command line and type python main.py and that will basically run our application, our code. So let's click enter. So as you see, we have an error and it says Deco driver executable needs to be in path. So you basically need to install Deco driver which is basically Firefox driver or for Chrome, we are using Chrome driver. So it's the same thing, but for Firefox. So let's go ahead and install that. So click the link down in the description, which will redirect you to the installation page. And this is basically the installation page. Now install your operating system. So for me, it's Windows. So I'll go to Windows 64. But if you are using Mac OS or anything else, install that operating system file. There we go. We don't have to specify Gecko driver here. All we have to do is put it on the same folder as our code. So we did that so we don't have to specify anything here. Now let's delete this log file because we don't need that. And then let's rerun our code. So I'll go on terminal, type CLS to clear the terminal and then rerun the code. And shortly it will open a window in Firefox and it will visit selenium.dev because what we basically said here is create a browser with Firefox and then on that browser get that page so basically visit that page so it visits selenium.dev so now let me show you how you can do that with Chrome and to use that with Chrome we have to download something similar to Gecko driver called Chrome driver 
So again, click the link down in the description, which will redirect you to that page. Now we don't want to install the latest version, which because it doesn't work with the latest version, we want to install a version like 96 or something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's install the latest version for 96. And again, choose your operating system. I'll use Windows 32. Even if you have Windows 64, it doesn't matter. Just use that. And then I'll go to the folder and to visit your folder from Visual Studio Code, right click here and reveal in file explorer. And now all we have to do is drag and drop our Chrome driver. And let's go back and here instead of Firefox, we will use Chrome. Let's try that. Okay, so we got an error and it says this version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 96, which is what we installed but now it says current browser version is 98 so we basically have to install 98 instead of 96 so copy this version then go back to the installation page and type ctrl f and go to that installation and then we will install again windows 32 now let's go back delete our old chrome driver open winrar and then go back to our folder and drag and drop Chrome driver. So let's rerun our application. And there we go. It opens selenium.dev website in Chrome instead of Firefox. So that's how you basically do that with Chrome. Now in our tutorial, you can use whatever you want, either Chrome or Firefox. I'll be using Chrome, but we might switch while we're doing that. So yeah, that's how you can set up Selenium in Python and run a very simple application. In the next video, I'll show you how you can fetch elements from a website. So yeah, if you are interested in that, hit the like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of those episodes. Also, let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next and also what else would you like to see in this tutorial series. So with that said, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.